Good morning guys, welcome to today. It is still dark out, it is 8 a.m. Usually we don't, we're usually we're just getting out of bed at 8 a.m. I'm amazed. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my coat is covered in horse medicine. Covered in horse medicine. Anyway, good morning guys, welcome to today. Today we are having a crazy busy day. I hate these kind of days. Today is our last day to deal with Chino. Hopefully our last day to deal with Chino. Okay, so a lot of people are confused about Chino and, and what's going on with him. I'm gonna ask Gabby some questions and it's first thing in the morning and she's got her morning face on. So be prepared. Gabby, pass or fail. This is how well you know your horse and how well you've been paying attention. All right, so why does he have to be on stall rest? Infection or swelling? Infection. Right, he has an infection, so he has to stay in stall rest no, so that the infection doesn't spread. Yeah. Okay, Gabby, what is better for swelling, stall rest or moving? Moving. Right, so if you just have swelling and no infection, what should you be doing? Walking around. Right, okay, last question, Gabby. This is a hard one. So. If Chino is allowed to be released into the population, into the general population of, the ho of his horse family, why do you still have to hand walk him? Because sometimes they don't really walk around in their field, they just stand around eating. Yeah, exactly. You got it, Gabby. You you win. It was a hundred percent. So let's do a really quick recap. One, Chino was put on stall rest, not because of the swelling and not because he couldn't walk, but because walking could make the infection move around more in his body, increase the infection. Obviously, he couldn't be out in the snow and the ice with other friends when he couldn't even hardly walk. Why that was just a secondary thing. Why so, so now yeah, you are clumsy. I just my phone too. Oh my gosh. Imagine being so clumsy and dropping stuff and being that happy. You're amazing, Sophie. Okay. I can't drop the pitchfork now. So, just don't drop my horse. So, second thing. I can't pick your horse out. Uh, he's doing much better. We got the infection under control. He has no fever. He's not lethargic anymore. You're about to knock it again. Um, he's ready to go out. We just wanted to make sure that the infection was under control. So now he has some leftover swelling. We've got the swelling down as much as we can. He has leftover swelling. The only way to clear the swelling is to let him move. And we could have let him out days ago, our vet said, but we wanted to wait until we got his feet checked and we got his shoes checked. We didn't want to send him out. The soreness in his feet from taking his shoes off healed up enough from being on stall rest that he is sound in the front. So we didn't want to just release him back out there uh, without knowing if he was going to get sore again. The vet came, or the farrier came, and you could see how thin his soles were, and he, you could put, he showed us by pushing on his soles. He said if he goes out there in this weather again, that he's definitely going to get sore again. So we said, yeah, let's put on some shoes. So now he's yeah, got his I shoes. Put, I put on some shoes too. So now he's got his shoes on. He's got his fever completely gone. His infection out of control. The last little bit is a little bit of swelling. He's moving really well, meaning that he can move. He's a little stiff still because he's been standing around. So the only way to get rid of that is to make him not stand around. So, and like Gabby said, sometimes horses stand around even when they're outside. So it's time for him to be released. We're gonna do it today. Pure ice on the ground today. All right, Miss Molly, open that door. You should see what Gabby taught her. Right, Penny Pickle. Before you can have your grain, you gotta have this. I know you all like to watch her take her medicine. I know I like to watch her take her medicine. <laughs> Good girl. Wait, let, don't be pushy. Wait. Oh, she was in. Okay, so also I want to do, uh-oh. Cannot. Uh-oh, sorry. It's because I'm trying to film. And you're getting pushy. Stop getting pushy. Let me put it in. There you go. Okay. So also I wanted to do an update on Penny's eyes. Big, huge update, I think. Well, update on Penny's eyes. So, the, I told you guys this before, but the gateway to, I just wanna make sure I got all the medicine out here. Oh, whoa! That's one thing Molly doesn't have. She doesn't have that get out of my space gene. There you go. You're okay. I told you guys the liver is the gateway. The eyes are the gateway to the liver. So what your eyes are doing is, what your, is a reflection of what your liver is doing which is kind of scary. But anyway, you guys all know that Penny came with gooey white eyes. She'd have like a lot of discharge. So then we changed her shavings. We did all the stuff to try and figure out if it was what it was. We changed to sawdust 
and which actually seemed to create a different problem. So since we stuck, okay, so I'm gonna try and make it easy to skip to the end. Once we gave her the liver supplement, I believe that the eyes cleared up a lot, but that the sawdust was really fine particles and was getting in her eyes, creating, making it look like we hadn't solved the problem with her eyes. But I've noticed since we switched back to regular shavings and she's been on the liver supplement that her eyes don't have that white, gooey, filmy, yucky stuff anymore. Like, I notice I'm noticing a difference finally. And they say if you clear up the liver, then lots of times the eyes will follow. So, hopefully that is happening. Here, sit. High five. Yay! Do it again. Ruby's doing squirm. I know. The thing is, is that she gets distracted. If Ruby's distracted, if <laughs> Ruby's like, just play with me. Ruby, sit. Ruby's like, I will not be overdone. Ruby. I will not be outdone. Ruby. I will not be one Ruby. up. Spin. Ruby, spin. 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 Oh. Ruby, spin. <laughs> okay. Spin. I'm going to see if, if Molly will do what I taught her to do. Molly. Molly. You Molly. did not teach her to do that. I did. Go hold. Go hold, Ruby. Molly. You did not teach Molly. her to do that. I did. Molly. Molly. Up. Oh, gosh. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, do it. Okay, she won't do it. I taught her how to do it. All right, Gabby taught her how to do it, but she does it to me. Okay, she, me now is not the time. Just wait, just wait. Now is not the time because at night when I go in to kiss her goodnight, she comes to the end of the bed, Gabby's bed, stands up, puts her arms on either thing, tucks her head in and hugs me so tight. Yeah, like, it's so good. I'm gonna show you something I All right. Willow okay, what did you teach Willow? Willow, kiss, kiss. Yeah, we all know that Willow is a kissing kiss. pony. A magical kissing pony. Okay, go ahead, lick your bowl. See her eyes? Like, look at that, you guys. They're both looking great. Like, that's amazing. You're amazing. Things are just falling into place. Are we I'm ready? Let your pony free. You want to let my pony free? She is not good. She is good. No, she is not. Oh, my goodness. Yesterday we learned um, a bunch of games and we're gonna practice, be practicing them tomorrow probably because today is too busy of a day. We're riding today. Yeah, today we're riding. Um, but yeah, tomorrow we're gonna show you that the games that we learned how to play with our horses and how to tell. We learned games for the dominant horse, which I think is gonna be Penny. Which horse do you think your horse is gonna be? Willow. Willow? Dominant. Do you think she's dominant. gonna be the dominant one or do you think she's gonna be? Scared of cat one? The scaredy cat one, or do, you, cat. or do you think she's gonna be the curious one or the lazy one? The runaway. The runaway one? Yeah, cause she was run away from us. Yeah, the scared one. So we learned uh, four games to do with each of those kind of personalities. I think I'm gonna be doing the dominant game, playing the dominant game, which is called uh, changing Quadrant. quadrants. Quadrants. Changing quadrants. What do you think your horse is going to be? What game are you going to play with her? The lazy horse? No. The bossy horse? I think she's going to be the curious one. Yeah, the lazy horse, the bossy horse, the uh, curious horse, or the scared horse? Which one? Curious. No. Curious? I think she's the curious horse too. Changing quadrants with it. I saw. He just kept, like when I would go to his butt, he would just spin around in circles with me. So do you know what that means he was doing? Trying to. He's stealing it back from me. He's like, you're not the leader, I'm the leader. So you just have oh, no, to keep. I taught him when I go like that, he follows me. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, so if he turns and he looks at you and he wants to follow you, put your hand up and let him nose bump you. Fist yeah, that's called join. That's how we fist do bump. natural join up. That's how we're yeah, learning to do. Hurt. Oh my God, that hurt me too. Penny, look, my horse be coming to me. Let me see if she will fist bump me. Fist bump. Nice girl. Nice girl. That's a that's a form of join up. I didn't really even know that all this time I've been teaching her to join up with me and not even knowing it. Look at those eyes though. Ready. Oh, <laughs> she's 
trying up with Sophie now. Good girl, nice scratch. I don't think that's exactly what you're supposed to do. But yeah, it makes a big difference. Good girl. All right, let's go to the other barn. Let's go, let's go to the other barn. Man, life is busy. Life is busy on the day by day farm. Elsa, and she has to hold the two things. I don't know how she held this one. I feel like the Wicked Witch of the West. And Come then on, I started get freezing, up. and she get put dressed. on. Get your shoes on. Let's go. It's time to go. Get your homework done. Get your schoolwork done. Let's go to the barn. Let's go to the barn. Yeah, you Let's go to the barn. The Gabby. <laughs> the Wicked Witch of the West. Wicked West. Wicked West. Wicked. It's a tiny bit. So Sophie found a cut on her dog today. You guys all know that Sophie's super overprotective of her puppy. I have found Storm's, both of his front feet cut before. Yeah, Sophie. I'm like good at that. Yeah, I notice things and Sophie noticed things for sure. Notices things for sure. Um, so so just like here, show you. them and tell them what you think happened. Just like any good mom, I was looking over my puppy. Sorry, I can't, mom, I can't, I can't video. Um, no, it's, it's blurry because Daisy won't stop moving. So there's the cut. Just Daisy, like, just let me show them. She's like, I'm not a YouTube dog. Okay, Daisy. so, hey. Right there, see really close to her eye. Okay, you're okay. Uh, I think when her and Molly were playing, Molly, like. Cut her with her nail? Yeah, but she doesn't seem bothered by it. Yeah, She's so fine, just fine. it's little, it's gonna heal, it's all fine. <gasps> Minus one. Okay, so we're headed to the barn. I take care of Chino, give him his medicine. We're gonna ride in the morning. We rode in the morning the other day, and Sophie and I really liked it. The horses were kind of more fresh, more active. Not so we're gonna try it today, and then we can get all of our other stuff done. Like, you guys don't know how busy life has been on the day-by-day -day farm. I like to get my house cleaned every morning. The last two days, the last three days, there's been no, the last two days, there have been no cleaning. We're gonna come home and get all of our school stuff done. I cleaned my room yesterday. But, let me see the book. But, okay, so, anyways, God always has a plan. And people are always like, well, how do you know God's plan? Well, I always read to my girls almost every single day for school. We're reading this book. We haven't been able to read it since before the weekend. So we it's just crash. been, yeah, like, it's just been... Uh, struggle to get the book read. I'm really enjoying it though and I want to read it. So today I was thinking like since we have no time I'm gonna get Gabby to take a turn and read out loud and that's one thing that people do in school is read out loud and my girls never really get a chance to do that and so now God provided an opportunity for Gabby to read out loud. Gabby. Put the book on me. <laughs> yeah so Gabby how do you feel about reading out loud? I can't do it. Why can't you do it? Because I don't know any words when I read out loud. Yeah, so she says that she stumbles over words when she reads out loud, but when she reads in her head, she does it fine. Sophie, when it's your turn. I rain. Sophie, on the way home, when it's your turn, how do you feel about reading out loud? Oh no, today's Gabby's day. <laughs> oh, oh no, today is your day too. I can't read out loud. Why? Sometimes when I really like am like playing with my babies, I'll read to them out loud, but I can't read out loud. Oh, that's so nice that she reads to her babies out loud. Well, Hilarious so stuff. when I was young, like there were, so when I was young, one of the things I did the best at school, like one of the things that I was so confident about, one of the things that I did amazingly was read out loud. Like I would just go into the zone when I'd be reading out loud. I had no nerves. It was just, like I still remember it to this day. I love reading out loud. I love it so much. I do it all the time. I read it to my kids. I hate reading. I love it. So anyways, the girls are going to get an opportunity to read it loud. And we're not going to judge. If you stumble over words, we're either going to guess the word anyway or... Well, keep moving. Yeah, just keep going. Like, we don't care. We don't care. All right, let's go. Gabby's going to read to us from the Shiver book while we drive to the barn. We'll see you guys when we get there. You're getting free. Oh, you got to take his leg wraps off first. Oh, okay. Sorry. He looks so cute with the leg wraps. He does look cute with pink leg wraps. He's getting better. He understands it now. He still doesn't want it. Fix his, fix his neck, fix his neck. Oh, careful on the ice. Supermellows, 
running around. The Carmelo's over there getting ready to jump the fence again. No, he's playing with Bobby. Aww, I hope the horses are nice to him. Let's wait, I want to watch him. Why you walk him, Gabby? Walk him to the other horses. He does not want to get caught. He's like, I'm not going back in there. The girls got ahead of me. I told Gabby to walk him down to where the other horses are so that he's like, that's his walk for today. So each day we just have to make sure that he, he gets some hand walking so that, or we don't even have to hand walk him as long as we observe that he is walking. Definitely seems slow. Some people were concerned about the fact that him not moving too much in the field recently is related to the leg swelling. It's actually, he got an infection which caused the leg swelling. And the reason that he wasn't moving too much is because he took his shoes off and he was foot sore. He came to me and he touched, he fist bumped me and then I pulled out the halter and he walked away. Oh. Uh, this is what I was afraid of. I was afraid the horses were going to run him off. Like two magnets we are drawn to each other. You just know how to push all my buttons. Moved out of town and I erased your number. But still I find myself calling. like with your kids you take them to school for the first time in Canada you take your kids to school when they're between three and four years old and you just have to leave them there it's like throwing them to the wolves and if people are mean to them you have to hope they can figure it out same with horses they're really pushing them off come on you want to come with me All right, it's a blizzard out there. Poor Chino's getting oh, run off. On. Yeah, it's cold. Not by Tex, though. Him and Tex, the first, they are non-squealing horses. The first time they ever met. Well, Tex is the one out there running them. No, he's following them. Because they're like, oh my god, a new guy. Yeah. He's not new. Yeah, he's not new. Wow. Be nice to him. So then when I left, he stood at the edge and looked at me like, don't leave me here. And then he I said, right up to Finn. Then I said, well, come back. I know, Finn's his best friend. He if we had left our horses out there, it probably would have been okay. He loves ponies. We should have waited and put him out with our horses. That was a dumb move. It, well, that was your dumb move because you told me. I know. I didn't think it through. Don't you dare do that with me again. Okay. And then he ran. He just ran off with his friends. Yeah. 
Anyways, um, so today Gabby's gonna be running Storm and he got new shoes that are different. He got ones with the change the breakover part on his, yeah, they're, anyways, I don't know. No, to change where his foot, I don't know, you guys, I need to read up on more. How he stands on his foot makes it state changes how he stands on his foot. He runs to the inside, so his feet are like that, technically. His foot yeah, legs like, are like that, like this. See how my foot is? Whoops, see how my foot is turned the to the inside. inside? He runs I like that. With both. I can't now. do it either because my my thighs are too no. thick. No, no, because the ankle thing. This doesn't allow me to bend my ankle. So, anyways, he he supported the foot differently, but it makes him more at risk for losing his shoe. So then he put on a different shoe that makes him take off the ground differently so that he doesn't catch the back shoe. Basically, it was a whole crap shoe, and we're just gonna see. And they both got snow pads. It was the a reason very- why we put snow pads, most people put snow pads on shoes if their horses get turned down in the winter with shoes, is because all the snow gets stuck and like packed in, so it's like big balls of snow, while then when you take them in, they're sliding around. So then the snow pads somehow take the snow out, so no snow gets Prevent the snow from getting in. So yeah, they all got that. Shoeing is probably one of the most important things that you can do, like any anything to do with your horse's feet is the most important thing that you have to do with your horse. If you have no feet, you have no horse. I mean, same with the back, but where'd she go, Finny boy? Where'd she go, eh? Your boy's out there, he was looking for you. I feel sad, we did that wrong. Finn's feet are awesome now. Finn's feet are awesome? Those are the new feet. So, oh yeah, I don't know if I, I can't remember if I said this. So anyways, with the new shoes that Storm has, it's gonna be a whole different thing. Previously, he was using special pads to help with his heels. Um, and this, is, these are supposed to fix the heel problem. All day long if you're gonna throw your head. Yeah. So, okay, now I can. yeah, no. he's feisty. He's feisty, he was feisty yesterday too. All right, we're headed back out and we're gonna, so I just checked both of their sheaths. Uh, I'm actually really good at it. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know if you should say that, but I actually know how to do it. I actually am good at it. Um, Finn is really picky about it and so is Chino. So for me, like knowing when to stop is what I have to do. Like he's not like Storm, I just walk toward him and he's like, yeah, go ahead, check. Finn is like, you better get away from me. I did yesterday, but today he was really good and he let me check it. I So now we're gonna go out there and I'm gonna check Chino's. Because one thing I have learned is that ever since we got horses, I started to feel pain when they have pain and where they have pain. I don't know why that's happening. It's the weirdest sensation, but I'm learning to trust it. This is like the third or the fourth time. We found a Chino in the woods. Wow. No. Yeah. Nerve wracking. Oh my Yay. goodness. All right. So basically, we found Chino over here. All right. So no luck. I can get in there, but I can't. He's. I can't get it down, you guys. But look at that leg. I don't know if you can tell, but the swelling is coming down a lot. So the swelling is definitely coming down a lot. Still a little bit left there. Hopefully, and the smell and the smelling and the the swelling in his. And his sheath is coming down too. Hi, hi. He's guarding him. He's like, don't you touch my friend. That is inappropriate. Yeah, this vlog is a little inappropriate, but there's nothing you can do about it. The animals need care from the top to the bottom. You check no, I'm not checking text. It's not my horse. I bring him to the hay. No, just walk him around. Oh, with your boyfriend. We just witnessed a big old fight here. 
Storm's running away. Storm's not winning. We don't want him doing that. Sophie's been up to her usual tricks. She's been baking. What is this, Sophie? She's been cooking? Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its, like the crackers. Gabby, you have to try it. They're absolutely unbelievable. They taste exactly like Cheez-Its. It's like a cracker. It's kind of like a Ritz cracker with cheese. They're actually kind of good. They're really good, They're you guys. They're really good. It's a recipe on TikTok. A recipe on TikTok? Like, I can't believe she made them. They looked so, they look, they're little tiny pastries, kind of, with cheese in the middle. The one dog that does chores every single time. Oh, there's about Ruby, too. But Molly comes with us every single time we leave the house. Are you peeing, Penny Pickle? Did you just pee? You're getting ready to pee. You just peed. What the heck was that? Miss Penny Pickle. Hello, baby cakes. Hello. Look at those eyes, you guys. Look at the eyes. The eyes are clean. Oh, just take a bite. It's frozen. I don't want you to choke. A lot better than ever before. I think we fixed her eyes. I honestly think we fixed her eyes, you guys. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Yes, you guys are coming in too. I'll give you guys a carrot too. Oh, <laughs> Sam's waiting. All right. All right, well, I'm just going to let her go then. Watch out, Ruby. Ruby, go. Uh. Holy moly. <laughs> they all just go right in their stall. Such, oh, it's okay. You're okay. Look, she's getting so much better about knowing that I'm not going to hit her in her stall. Such a good girl. Look at those gorgeous eyes. Like, imagine, like, suddenly her eyes are gorgeous. I can't get over it. All right, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for all your love and support and prayers for Chino. He seems to be on the mend. When I was checking his sheath today out in the field, I noticed that it is half as swollen as it was yesterday. So he is getting better. The vet was correct. He is going to just keep getting better and better, I feel. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, before I forget, tomorrow's the day that we show you guys what we learned in our very first class. We're going to be working on all of our, our mares, and we're going to be showing you guys everything that we learned. Hopefully, we do a good job. Anyway, we'll see you guys then. Don't you know that you're